Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. Another mnemonic video, another from the series uh, which is highly recommended, another video to tell you about the phloem loading and unloading with the help of mnemonics, with the help of tricks and tips. This particular video will be uh, regarding the phloem loading and unloading. Phloem loading and unloading will be taught under 10 minutes, probably 7 or 8 minutes. All these important steps of phloem loading and unloading. The question that they ask from phloem loading and unloading requires you to understand the steps of the process. Means how exactly the phloem is loaded, how exactly the phloem is unloaded, what are the sequence of uh, regions where the loading is done, and what is the sequence of unloading, uh, whether they require ATP or not. Everything needs to be understood and that's what we are going to understand here. Okay. Now before talking about the flame loading and unloading, I must give you this idea that for the loading and unloading process always in plants there are two different ways. One is, uh, one here is that uh, we have apoplastic mode, another one is symplastic mode, remember that. This is something that you should always remember, apoplastic mode, apoplastic and symplastic. Now, it doesn't matter whether we are talking about phloem loading, unloading or whether we are talking about the absorption of water from the, uh, from the soil by the plant, there is always apoplastic and symplastic. Symplastic is the mode that includes uh, the plasma or what you can say includes plasmodesmata, plasmodesmata of the plant. They use the interconnectedness of the plants to, to transfer or apoplastic is in between, in between the cells without involving the cytosol without involving plasmodesmata. Apoplastic is without involving plasmodesmata. Symplastic is involving plasmodesmata always whether the context is water absorption or the context is phloem loading unloading. Okay. Now uh, knowing that let's move to the next part about the flowing loading. We have two different sentences to, to uh, remember here. One is that my cat, my cat sits patiently My cat sits patiently at simple ground. My cat sits patiently at a simple ground. That's the sentence. My cat sits patiently at a simple ground. Now imagine a ground which is simple, the grasses are trimmed and my cat is sitting there. That's what you need to imagine. Now a lot of this mnemonics require your imagination skills to get, right? So if you imagine your cat sits very patiently, quietly in the simple ground, then this is the very first sen sentence that you get. And the next sentence that you are going to get is uh, another sentence, Simran. Simran Singh is the name of, let's say, a colleague of yours. Simran Singh took a simple active approach. Simran Singh took a simple active approach. That's the second sentence. So two separate sentences, not interrelated. But in the very first sentence, there's a cat sitting on a very simple ground. That's your cat. And the second one is a Simran Singh took a simple active approach of solving a question, let's say. So if you are Simran Singh took a simple active approach in solving this particular part, that is something that you have. So what we uh, need to know from here is now, so the very first sentence is going to give us information regarding phloem uh, loading, first sentence. Second one is going to give us information regarding unloading. That's the difference between the two. Loading and unloading sentence. For phloem loading, start with the M for the mesophyll. Mesophyll cell is where uh, the synthesis is done. Okay, And then we have mesophyll to C, C for companion, companion cells. From there sits a sieve tube, sieve tube member, right, sieve tube elements, okay, and then AT stands for ATP because this process requires ATP and then we have simple ground, simple is symplastic. 
ओके सिम प्लास्टिक एंड पी एस फॉर सिम प्लास्टिक पी फॉर प्लाज्मो डिस्माटा सिम प्लास्टिक सिंपल एस फॉर सिम प्लास्टिक पी फॉर प्लाज्मो डिस्माटा दैट्स इट इज नथिंग रिलेटेड टू द ग्राउंड इन हियर सो माय कैट्स इज पेशेंटली एट सिंपल ग्राउंड माय कैट्स इज पेशेंटली टिल दिस पार्ट we have every single information regarding apoplastic transport of phloem loading then afterwards we get the simple ground sim plastic transport simple as for sim plastic p for plasmodesmata so it is already told sim plastic transport involves plasmodesmata and it does not require atp in this process of sim plastic transport but in apoplastic transport the transfer is from mesophyll cells to companion cells from companion cells to sieve tube elements from sieve tube elements it is now donated to the sink that is individual cells of the plants and it requires it requires atp that is also written it requires atp so mesophyll to companion cell companion cells to sieve tube element requires atp that is apoplastic transport the other one simple ground sim plastic transport no atp required Involving plasmo desmata. Got it? Every information is present in my sentence. That's why my sentence are little bigger than the other mnemonics you might get otherwise. But these are all made by me, hundred percent authentic in terms of every single information. Next, that we move to the unloading or phloem unloading here. For phloem unloading, we start with SI. That means here sieve tube, right? We have sieve tube. from here si then another si that means sink cells this is sink cells so sieve tube to sink cells that is the only movement right only movement sieve tube to sink cells sink cells means that cells where the ultimate cells where the food needs to be delivered so all the cells of the plant they require the food after it's it's produced in the plant leaf it gets delivered so source is the place where it is synthesized the mesophyll sink is all the other cells where the material is delivered sucrose is delivered okay next what we have here is uh, took a simple a uh, simple active approach okay so what we have simple sim plastic right which is passive way of flow and active there is another active way of flow approach apoplastic apoplastic is a active approach requires atp now again in this case also in case of flow in flame unloading also there will be a, an approach that is direct energy utilization or indirect energy utilization direct energy utilization is in the apoplastic transport where the transport is always done from low sucrose to the high sucrose then only the apoplastic or active approach is taken where energy is utilized atp is utilized on the other hand sim plastic or passive transport is always a sieve tube element to sink cell si si you only need to know cc or you can remember this as cc in very simple terms in that cc means si for sieve tube elements and si for sink cells so movement from sieve tube to the sink cell that is done in the unloading part so in this particular video we clarified all our necessary information regarding the phloem loading and phloem unloading with the help of two separate sentences one is my cat sits patiently at simple ground and the second one is simran singh took a simple active approach that's it that's how you can remember and gather so much information by reading very little that smart work that you need to put just before the exam for revision all the best i believe you got a clear idea uh, about all the topics that we discussed and one more thing that is very important is that uh, this mnemonics are going to give you so much information in very little time so 5 to 7 minutes of lecture will clear a lot of information in your brain you can put all this information in your brain before the exam 
and you can ace the exam. And if you really like this video lectures, then please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues. There's a series of this mnemonics lecture, a playlist is made for that and the link of the playlist is given in the description. Click that and watch all the videos of the playlist. And if you wish to be mentored by me for your CSI and examination or want to get our study material, then the details are there here in the video. You can contact us by this given number or directly can download our application or check our website that is www.shownsbiology.com. Thank you. Bye.